Now, when you're creating your website, you wanna make sure that it also looks good on smaller screen sizes, such as a tablet or a mobile phone. Because nowadays, most people are actually browsing the web using their mobile phone, and we wanna make sure that our website looks good on the mobile phone device as well. So to see what our website looks like on a different device, we have to open up the responsive mode of Elementor. So to go to the responsive mode, we're gonna go down to the left side and click on the responsive mode. Once that's done, this bar here at the top will open up where we can change between different screen sizes. Currently we are on the desktop view, but we can also switch to the tablet portrait view right here. And we can see how our website looks like on a tablet. Because we are using a template that is already optimized, we can see that it already looks pretty good. So there's not much we need to do here. But let's go to the mobile portrait view as well. And here we can see that we have a bit of a problem, which is that the WordPress text is a bit too large, so it doesn't really fit the screen. So we need to change that here in the mobile view. To do that, we can just click on the text element or the heading element, and then go to style, and then click on the pen icon next to typography. And here we can decrease the size. Now, one thing we can notice is that here where it says size, there's a mobile phone icon next to it. This means that you can individually change this size of the text without having it affect the other screen sizes. So here I can simply decrease the size of this heading to let's say 40 pixels. And now when we go back to the tablet view and open up the typography settings, we can see here that it's still 60 pixels. And when we go back to the desktop view and open up the typography settings, we can see it's 83 pixels. And this works for all the values where we have this icon next to it. So let's go back to the mobile view. And then let's say we wanna make some more space here between this text and this button. So we can just click on the button element, then go to the advanced tab. And then here for margin and padding, we can also see this phone icon. So we know that we can change the spacing independently from the other screen sizes. So maybe we just wanna add some padding to the top here. We can just unlink these values, then add, let's say 10 pixels. And this will add this, uh, this space here. And now when we go back to the tablet view, it will be without any padding here at the top. Another thing we can do is hide specific elements on different screen sizes. So let's say we wanna just have this element on the desktop view and the tablet view, but we don't want to have it shown on the mobile phone view. What we can do is select this element and then go to the advanced tab, then scroll down and open up the responsive settings. Here under visibility, we can change the visibility on different screen sizes. So for example, if you wanna hide it on the mobile view, we can just switch this to hide. And then when we go to the mobile view, we can see that this element is grayed out, which means that people will not be able to see it on their mobile phone.